What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today wanted to give you guys a big heads up because one of the easter eggs with the 6.0 update on the PlayStation 4 is the ability to actually download your PlayStation Now games. Now, my question is, is PlayStation Now worth it now that you don't have to just stream the games, you can actually download and play them. We're actually going to go over that and more in this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned. If you guys are new, hit that subscribe button, bell notification, and, uh, you know, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think. So right now, they have a deal with PlayStation Now, and that is the first month for $9.99. Now, keep in mind, they do have a seven-day free trial, but if you do that, you're not going to get the first month for $9.99. They also have another deal, three months for $29.99 if you have PlayStation Plus. That is a, a good discount considering three months is $44.99. They also have another deal where if you purchase it for the entire year, it is $100. Now, I'm, I know what you're thinking. $100? That's a lot of money. Keep in mind, you're, you're, you're paying $100 to access 650 games. Okay? So kind of put that into perspective and also PlayStation Now was a lot more expensive before I think it was what $20 a month <laughs> and if you pay for the whole year at 100 bucks you're paying less than 10 bucks a month for an entire year of accessing games now my question also is like you know to put it in another perspective if you pay 10 bucks a month is it worth it you know if you pay $30, $40 a month, is it worth it? Let's go ahead and check out the PlayStation Now and see what they got in store. So keep in mind, with the new 6.0 update, you can now download uh, certain games and you don't have to just stream them. So those of you guys that don't have that best of connection, this is going to be a, a good option for you. There's a mixture of PS4, PS3, and PS2 games. And right off the bat, Red Dead Redemption... Oh, yes, baby. I want me some Red Dead Redemption. Woo! Bloodborne, there's there's a lot of good games. They, they got what's hot on here. And um, WWE 2K16 is arguably one of the better ones compared to, you know, recent years. The Last of Us, if you guys haven't played it, oh, my gosh, you need to. There's so many uh, games in here. Honestly, we don't have time to go through all of them. They got 50 plus greatest hits. They get they sort them out for you, so you know you don't have to, you know, just scramble looking through stuff. If you want to play the God of Wars, if you want to play PlayStation exclusive action games, um, dude, here's some heavy hitters right here: Until Dawn, Beyond Two Souls, and Heavy Rain all in one section that is freaking awesome if you are a playstation fan uh then you're probably familiar with tekken which is also on here as well uh there's a bunch of lego games that are accessible i still needed platinum pirates of the caribbean i still get a couple of trophies left on that one but i'm itching to platinum it there's also some e exclusive indie games alien nation is pretty cool hell divers is one hell of a game definitely do recommend it and as we're scrolling through we get some bethesda stuff uh, a lot of older titles uh rage 2 is coming out so if you wanted to get your hands on rage or maybe one of the older fallouts that's an option for you guys too if you're disney fans and you dude i i gotta say okay uh, i was kidding about the disney fan thing but split second on the playstation 3 was so addicting Back in the day, I picked it up used. I didn't really know. I just wanted a racing game. And holy cow, I had a lot of fun with it. Now it's a little bit older and, you know, there, there's newer racing games out there. But, man, that just brought back memories. Okay, now this is a, a big heavy hitter for a lot of people because the PlayStation 2 games that are exclusive, uh, well, not exclusive, but the PlayStation 2 games that are playable on the PlayStation 4 are available on playstation now and they were available only to stream but now you can download them and let's go ahead and browse through this so dark cloud 2 it's a great game uh ape escape is some some people really love that game you got rogue legacy primal 
Dark Cloud, Siren, which is a crazy game. And this was really good back in the day. So those are the PS2 games that are available to download and play at your leisure, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to actually pass the question off to you. Given the fact that you got over 650 games to play and play on your PS4, like you don't have to have a PS2. You don't have to have a PlayStation 3. Everything's playable on the PlayStation 4. And you don't have to stream everything anymore. You could download stuff too. So for 10 bucks a month or $100 for the entire year, uh, is it worth it? Is it something that you guys would be interested in checking out? I'd love to know in the comment section below. I'm uh, I'm actually thinking about getting PlayStation now. Uh, now. Um, that, oh my gosh, Undead Nightmare. Red Dead Redemption's awesome. And when I... Got Undead Nightmare was like another game that I just completely fell in love with. Um, but yeah, enough of me rambling on. I'd love to know your guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. Is this enough, you know, enough content, enough material for you guys to actually bite the bullet and pay the 10 bucks a month on top of your PlayStation Plus subscription or a hundred bucks? For the entire year on top of your PlayStation Plus subscription, which you probably pay like 60 bucks for for the year, depending on if you get it on sale or not. But yeah, anyways, that's it for me. Make sure to hit a like, comment down below. If you guys are new, hit that subscribe button, bell notification, and I'll see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome.